What's up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2020 Panini Prism Football Hobby. Six box break, Picatines number seven. And again, guys, uh, seven and eight are from the same hobby case. All card ship. A little team randomizer. So customers that have a little character sign at the, at the end of their name. One of those in a little team randomizer. And here you go, all the way down there. So half case break, guys. Let's open up this case. Alright, so one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. So let's quickly switch scenes. I'm gonna use a little virtual dice. I'm not even trying to like lose these dice while I'm trying to roll it. With all these boxes here. So again, one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Let's click roll dice, and it is a six. So one, two, three left, four, five, six right side. And um just gonna post up a big eight. So you guys know that this is for number eight. Um, no, Tony. I mean, I only actually did about a case and a half. I only did the two two box breaks and a full case um, when I was here on release day. I haven't broken anything since. I did pull a one on one black finite CD line. Pulled a Joe Burrow autograph and a Joe Burrow color, but I haven't really had much prism. So I'm very excited to finally do another half caser. Potentially, hopefully, the second half as well. But. In my limited cases that I've did, my case and a half, I would say, I didn't do too bad for customers. A 101 CD Lamb Black Fine, I was awesome. Oh, Batch Auto. I had a buddy of mine pull one up, put one up uh, early Friday morning because he pulled it late Thursday night before the release. He got some from his buddy. He pulled one. He put it up on eBay and he was getting close to $10,000 offers, but he said he got so nervous that he just took it down. But he was sh sending me screenshots of the legit offers he was getting for it. And I was like blown away. I honestly thought those were going to start out like $4,000, but... Jesus, he was getting almost $10,000 offers for that. So, he took it down and he just said he doesn't know what he wants to do with it. Oh, well, we probably personally did. I actually didn't, though. Yeah, we probably did, though. Did we pull one? Did we pull two? 
Um, but, yeah, I mean, even my Oregon Ducks color blast that I have, uh, I have an Oregon Ducks one that I paid probably like 200 bucks back when Prism Draft Picks first came out. It sells for like a thousand bucks now. Oh, nice, Cascade. Yeah, I mean, I was very shocked it was going to go that high. I think it's a solid offer. Um, but, like I told him, I was like, you know, don't be afraid to sell it, right? Because you only, he said he bought one box. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you're going to make your, you're going to make your 1K back. Uh, but, you know, like I said, usually the first, first one to hit eBay, if anything, usually tends to sell for the most because people really want it. You know? But, um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, he was getting like legit $9,000 offers and I was just blown away. Um, just cause it was just for so high. And that's what I advised him to do too. If he said, I told him if it was really, really good, like centering was nice and everything, um, send it into PSA, do like a five day turnaround, two day turnaround, see what you get. And then if it's freaking graded a 10, something like that, then you're damn, it's definitely more than 10,000 then. Well, Tony, there's people that want to sell the color blast that are graded for three thousand, but the last raw sold for a thousand. Best offer accepted back in like October, so it could be worth more actually now because some time has passed. But I don't know. Did did Herbert really have a whole bad day, or was it influenced because the whole team just had a bad day? Because I and mean, they did lose like forty five nothing, right? Woo! Speaking of the Herbert, speaking of the Herbert, Mark with the Chargers. How about a little purple, Justin Herbert? Forty-nine out of one twenty-five. Speak the man, pops up. Look at that. Javon Kinlaw. And we got Jonathan Taylor out of 49. Patch autograph. Nice. Purple power, too. Indianapolis Colts. That's going to Kurt. Um, what if man that was a personal box? Crazy. And a camel, Sean Alexander. Man, this is a great box. Nineteen out of twenty-five. KJ Hamler, Henry Ruggs. Ed Reed, purple power. Out of 49. Van Jefferson. Traquan Smith. Little silver here, Ian Thomas. Donald Driver. Out of 
All right, next one. Four boxes, I heard it was in the last pack of the second box. Yeah, no reason to open up the next two no more. Keep them, keep them sealed. Whenever you feel that either you wanna resell those boxes because the price is double. If in the future the price is double, triple, and you just feel like you wanna rip them because you're never gonna find a box at the price you paid for it the first time. You can always do it that way as well. You got Ryan Tannehill. Out of 199. Jonathan Taylor. Jose DeGara. Later, man. Tyler Johnson. Keen Keelan Cole. Green scope. Yeah, I mean that's that's valid and that's okay to say, right? <laughs> like you don't want to like bring yourself down or put yourself down, but yeah, that's like a that's like a once in a lifetime type of hit because it's not a one of one, but they're so extremely rare. Philip Lindsay to ninety nine, so it's valid for you to say that for sure. <laughs> and the fact that it was a Herbert too, I honestly was debating on buying one of those just to com complete it with my Oregon Ducks one, but not for those prices. <laughs> I'd have to pay it down like if it was like a payment plan if I wanted to do that. Marquise Brown, Michael Pittman Jr., DJ Dallas. No, yeah, yes, but see, that's the one thing. It's like not all one on ones are worth $10,000. So, as I said, like, even though it's not a one on one, it's like really, really, really tough to get. Marvin Jones Jr. So, that's why I get to appreciate, like, like, let's say that, that uh, CD Lamb I hit, because that is legit a one-on-one, -on -one, and it's an autograph, so that one's super, super tough. But I feel like you have a better chance of finding those than you do of of uh, Color Blast. And speaking of CD Lamb, look at that. Green Scope CD Lamb. Cowboys going to Matthew, who got that in a team filler. Look at that, man. Team randomizer, I should say. Very nice. Adrian Amos. Out of 125. Tyler Higby. I honestly don't know, to be honest, Kyle. I'm very curious to see what his market is for, like, a one-on-one -on -one prism. But the, the good thing is that it's a one-on-one -on -one prism, you know? 
you know, the good thing is that it's a one-on-one -on -one prism. So. But, um, whoever you talk about hits, talk, talk about Tua. You want to talk about Tua? What do you want me to talk about Tua for? Got you. <laughs> you're right, you're right. I was like, what? Okay, okay. But see, that's unplanned, actually. That, that's unplanned. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cascade, for sure. So, yeah, that's what I mean that I... Uh, it's okay for you to say that you'll never hit a hit like that ever again because it's extremely rare. Chris Jones. Are you Anthony? Hi, or you just want to see a Tua? Well, this is another thing, guys, and I, I, I want to stick by it because it, it's going to happen, but I just don't know how Herbert collectors are going to take it. But let me just tell you this. His prices will drop when the offseason comes. It's just normal. It all, every sport has its drops, especially in the offseason. But I want, I want to say that Herbert's is going to stay relatively strong and competitive. I think if anything, what will drop is his base. You know, maybe his silvers, but I feel like the silvers are actually really tough to hit in these two. I don't think I see as many silvers as I as I'd like for rookie silvers. But um, I know his base will drop. Some 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 of his stuff is gonna drop regardless. But I think obviously the best time to sell somebody is now, especially someone like a Herbert. I mean, if unless you you're you're gonna predict that he's gonna be. A superstar from here on out then you hold on to him and I also tell people too, like let's say Cascade right for instance he said he bought four boxes so depending on what the price you got him for the average of the box is about thousand so you about four thousand in there right for someone that may have bought one box hell one pack then I don't blame you for holding on to him because you know you're you didn't really spend too much to get it but his prices will always sell much better during the season and especially his rookie season unless he's going to turn out to be Patrick Mahomes because <laughs> unlike Patrick Mahomes I feel like every quarterback in these last couple years draft classes have been up and down Lamar Jackson was selling for so much money last year and people took advantage and just sold so much of him and made so much money. And then people wanted to continue to buy him in the offseason. And now Lamar is kind of sunk down to what he was before. Pre-last year, you know. Um, the only one that has consistently been playing as good every year since his start has really been Patrick Mahomes. Josh Allen has jumped up this year, but he's kind of jumped up like Lamar did last year. But is he going to stay like that every year? It's kind of hard to predict, you know? But I think Color Blast for you, Cascade, it's not going to go down. I think those will always be really expensive. See, that's the one thing. He's going to win Rookie of the Year. He should. I think it should go up, but like, when are they going to announce Rookie of the Year, though? Is it going to be like how many weeks after the season? Because by then, 
if people start seeing Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs, people start seeing potentially Tua in the playoffs because they're actually in a playoff position. I mean, honestly, people might be focusing their attention on Tua and other players in the postseason rather than Herbert. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, he's probably going to win Rookie of the Year. He deserves it regardless of, of what happens. But someone else is going to have views on, on other players in the, in the postseason. And the one thing out of all these rookie quarterbacks is Tua's in a position to be in a playoff game. And all it takes is for him to have one good game in the playoffs and they win, his stuff is just going to explode. So I don't, I always see people's logic of just holding on to it until he runs rookie of the year, but it's just that I think that um, it's not as relevant because their team's not in the playoffs anymore by then. But I do see Herbert being a really, really good quarterback. You know, I've been watching him since he was playing at Oregon as a true freshman. I really thought I, I that he would be a little different than the traditional Oregon quarterbacks that popped out of there. You know? Um, so I don't expect his stuff to drop too much. I think once he starts winning, uh, his stuff is probably going to go up much more. Like, just imagine if the Chargers were actually winning this whole time and potentially in a playoff spot. His stuff would be exploding right now, even more than it already is. But the fact is that, of course, the Chargers aren't that good. AJ Terrell. Yeah, Logan, I was very surprised, dude. I only bought it for two hundred bucks. Back, back in like when her first, when Prison Draft Picks first popped up. Pay like two hundred bucks for it. So I'm actually, it's actually in PSA right now, so. Hopefully, um, hopefully grades a 10. So that way, those other offers that, or those other buy it nows that people have them for, for like 3,000 graded, will be more realistic if it comes back a 10. Kyle Fuller. And the good thing is that Oregon's program, they have a lot of good loyal fans, so... His Oregon stuff should never really drop so much. Only time it ever drops is only because the NFL stuff pops out. But from here on out, the Oregon stuff should be consistent. Mark Cooper. No, I don't know, Tony. I still would have. I still would have. Uh, I still would keep ones. I mean, I just it's unfortunate for the dude. It really is. He's gone through so much. And, I mean, to be realistic, the team is just not good at all. But uh, Hertz came in here and got a little spark, got a little momentum, and that's what the Eagles needed. Um, so, I would probably still would take once, to be honest, man. I don't, I don't think golf is that crazy good either. I think it's Sean McVay's offense. That's, that's the way I see it. And then McFarlane Jr. But if I can go back in time, let's not draft once and then just draft Patrick Mahomes a year later. Let me do that instead. <laughs> but should I go back in time just even this year and go draft uh, Justin Jefferson and go draft maybe uh, DK Metcalf last year? Kenny Clark? Although I like I like Jalen Rager. He actually did pretty good today. He had a kickoff, a punt return for a touchdown. I just think you need to get hit, more plays involved with him, that's all. And we got for the Denver Broncos. All right, next one, guys. All 
All right, looks like we only have three left in that filler. Actually, it's sold out now. Sold out of the filler for the hit pack. So it looks like we'll be doing that next. Um, 13 left in Immaculate Baseball, 12 left in Flawless. So I'm assuming that... Um, ooh, nice. Even uh, Team All sold out already. Sweet. Team All sold out too, so I'm going to grab the Cavs. So it looks like we'll be doing back-to-back -back either hit packs first or um, Team All. But we'll do both of those right after this. see your name on here bro I hope so man I haven't really pulled any rookie silver though I feel like rookie silvers in this year's prism has been really tough to hit but when you hit a silver they sell really well I think someone said Justin Herbert silver is raw we're going for about a thousand I don't know. I can pull a base. I'll probably pull an autograph before I pull silver. <laughs> yeah, rookie silvers have been really tough to hit so far. At least a couple cases and boxes I've done. Patty Mahomes. How about that? Who has the Chiefs? Kessler with that one. 81 out of 125. Miles Boykin. Got Jonathan Ogden. Ravens going to George. Trick on Smith. Visca T. Higgins. Chase Playful. Jeremy Chin. Carolina Panthers. Raekwon Davis. And little Tua. Nick Chubb. I switched the category, got more. Lord Savior, go through it. Hey, help with all owners. Go. Okay. Fletcher Cox, silver. Raekwon Davis. Out of 249. Isaiah Simmons, rookie. Devin Duvernay. We got Quinn Nelson, Joe Burrow, we 
got LaVisca Chenault Jr. Jaguars. Look at that. Part of the team random. And Jaguars. Mark. Got yourself a hit right here, man. There you go. Robert Woods. Zach Moss, C.D. Lamb. Oh, man, we got points. 600 points. I guess so. I had a horrible week in fantasy this week. All my players were injured. Didn't perform well. All right, next box, guys. Bruce Smith, Bills, Hunter Sean. We got a Byron Murphy, Silver, and Saquon Barkley, 18 out of 25. Camo, Ben and Ayuk, Jake Fromm. Marquise Brown. Hurts. Deontay Johnson.
Jake Fromm, very nice green scope. And a little Herbie base. <laughs> Damien Arnett. Hunter Henry. Wow, are we going to get two patch autographs in the same six boxes? There's, there could be two patch autos in this uh, master case, guys. So look at this, guys. Got another patch auto, and this time it's to 99, Keyshawn Vaughn. Marcus Lawrence. And to one forty nine for the Cowboys. Chase Young. Papa Diggs is so funny. Last box. Who are the last players today, Aaron? Did they win?
All right, seems like it was a passing day today. Unless the running game also had like 100 plus yards. Darren Waller. Close. We got Trey Fowler. <laughs> or Trey Flowers. Demario Davis. Dak Prescott. Jeff Okuda. Golden Tate. Lane Johnson. And Clyde Edwards Elair. Ruby Wave. One forty nine. Ross Blacklock. Logan Wilson. And a Michael Vick camo. Falcons going to Ryan. 20 out of 25. That's pretty nice. Colin Johnson. So Swift rookie. Chandler Jones. And out of 35, Cornelius Bennett, franchise legends, Bills, that is going to Ryan. Oh, sorry, no, Sean. And there you go, guys. So I'll quickly do a little recap. So we have 600 points we're going to give away, guys. Um, we do not. We offer for you guys to pay for the insurance. I think priority mail, when it's priority, you, you get an automatic like 100 or $150 of insurance. But uh, we do not. But we definitely advise you guys, especially if you guys hit something really big. Um, you guys can always hit us up at the support button. But no, we do not. Um, only if you guys uh, request it. Oh, for myself? Yeah, definitely. I think I think it's always okay to be on the safe side, uh, because, like I said, you could be that one in thousands or you know people, hundreds of people that have their package lost. So I think it's uh, it's not it's not too bad. 
And it ends up being something really small of a fee depending on how how much you price out your hit. So yeah, like for your instance, if you're gonna insure it for like nine thousand at least, it's probably gonna be like ninety bucks, maybe maybe a hundred bucks. But it's something so small compared to what you're valuing it at, where it's like just to be safe. But you don't always have to fully value it at nine thousand if you'd like. You can always value it at whatever you'd like. I feel like also when you insure it. I don't know. Is it, is it like, is it like, uh, I feel like when you insure it, it's more like US, UPS and USPS know that like we shouldn't mess this up. So <laughs> let's get it there safely. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's usually about a dollar and change or something for every hundred dollars. So it's something like that. Yeah, you just never know. So just to be safe. All right, guys. So then, a lot of a uh, lot of base. A lot of base. A lot of base. Let me show you guys the color. All right, so there you go. It's all the color. Don't people Jones auto hiding in there. And let me show you guys the autos now too as well. So people's Jones, you got a purple Patty Mahomes, Herbert base. You got a Tyler John or sorry, Keychon Vaughn patch auto at 99 to a base. Lavisca Chanel Jr. auto Ben. Uh, Danucci, 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 I think it is. Uh, Colin Johnson. Cornelius Bennett, franchise legend, to 35. Anthony McFarland Jr. We got a little autograph there for the Broncos. Michael. Jose Degar. CD Lamb, green scopes, to 75. Patch Auto, Jonathan Taylor. And a beautiful Herbert Purple to 125. So there you go. And again, the second half is in the store if you guys want to run it back. And we're going to give away 600 points. So let's go dice roller. Let's get that list here. Original customer names. Dice roller. Five and a five, ten times. Good luck. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brian Plant. So there you go. You had the Cincinnati Bengals. So there you go. Six hundred bucks or six hundred points, I should say. Going your way. Appreciate it, guys. Jazbeescasebreaks.com.